On the GD test, 25% of the questions will come from geometry. Many of the plane, flat shapes that we work with are made up of lines and angles. The relationships between angles, vertical, complementary, supplementary, and congruent, are the basis for solving many common geometry problems. So you won't have a protractor to use on the GD test, you will need to know the relationship between these figures. First thing we're going to look at is what is an angle? Okay. An angle is made up of two lines called rays. The rays come together at a point called the vertex. And the angle is the distance between the two rays. And we measure an angle in degrees. And as I said before, because you won't have a protractor, we will um, be looking at other ways to determine the measure of an angle. An angle has a name, too. We use um, this angle here, we could call angle ABC. Angle ABC would be written like this, angle ABC. But you could also call the same angle, angle CBA. The same letters in reverse order, except the B, the vertex, is going to stay in the middle. As I said before, angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. Here's an example of a protractor right here on the board. And we see in this angle, angle ABC, it is uh, measured in degrees. And we can see that the measure of that angle is 70 degrees. Okay. But again, like I said, because you will not have a protractor on the GD test, we'll be looking at some other ways to determine um, the measure of an angle. Let's first take a look at the different types of angles that you would see. Um, the first type of angle that you might see is a right angle. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. That means that it can only be 90 degrees. It can't be 89 degrees and it can't be 91 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. See the symbol here that shows that it is an angle that measures 90 degrees. So when you see an angle with that little symbol on it, you know, hey, that's a right angle. It's 90 degrees. Next to the right angle, we have an acute angle. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So you can see here in this picture, the little dotted line shows the angle that shows the 90 degree angle. So the acute angle picture here is less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle. An obtuse angle, as shown here, is more than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180 degrees. Next type of angle we see is a straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. So when you see a line, that's a straight angle, and it's always 180 degrees. Finally, we have a reflex angle. A reflex angle is more than 180, but less than 360. Angles are also related based on the sum of their measures. You have complementary angles and you have supplementary angles. Complementary angles are uh, two angles that equal 90 degrees, and they're called complementary. Supplementary are two angles that equal 180 degrees. So let's take a look at an example of complementary and supplementary angles. We start with a right angle. I know it's a right angle because I have a symbol that tells me it's a right angle. So we have right angle A, B, C. Say I were to divide it into two angles, A, B, C, D. These two angles, because they are uh, they equal 90 degrees, are called complementary angles. Their sum is 90 degrees. That's something that you'll have to remember for the test. So let's say this first angle, we'll call this 1 and 2, make it a little easier to visualize. Angle 1 is equal to 40 degrees. If angle 1 is equal to 40 degrees, what is the measure of angle 2? The measure of angle 2 would be 50 degrees because they are complementary. 40 plus 50 equals 90 degrees. Let's take a look at another example. Again, we have a right angle. Let's say angle 1 is uh, measures 30 degrees. 
If angle one measures 30 degrees, then angle two must measure 60 degrees because they are complementary. The sum has to be 90 degrees. So when you see a 90 degree angle on a on the GD test, remember, hey, those two angles have to equal 90 degrees. Let's take a look at supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. So we start with a straight line. We have line A, B, C. And in the straight line, I'm going to put two angles. Angle 1 and angle 2. If you look at angle 1, you can tell that that angle is greater than 90 degrees, so that's an obtuse angle. And then angle 2, of course, is less than 90 degrees, so that's an acute angle. So you might see on the test, you might see an obtuse and an acute angle such as this together. And let's say the obtuse angle measures 120 degrees. Well, you know that the line itself has to equal 180 degrees. So if angle 1 is 120, what is the measure of angle 2? Subtract 120 from 180, and you get 60. Because remember, together, they have to equal 180 degrees. So let's take a look at some problems that um, we might see on the test. Uh, first, we'll start off by labeling types of angles. Uh, number one. What type of angle is that? Acute, obtuse, right, or straight? Well, the angle is 150 degrees, therefore, that angle is obtuse. Greater than 90, but less than 180. Angle 2 is a 90 degree angle, which makes it a right angle. Angle 3, well, that's less than 90 degrees, so that makes it an acute angle. And number 4, 180 degrees, well, that's a straight angle. So, keeping this in mind as we go through and answer the following questions. Questions 5 through 8 refer to this diagram right here. Okay. Whenever you're taking a test, make sure you always read the directions. Refer to the figure below to answer questions 5 through 8. Angle AXB and BXC are complementary, okay? So what they're telling us then is that this angle and this angle make up a 90 degree angle. And we can even see the symbol in the picture. So we know that information going in. So let's see if we can answer all these questions. Number five, what is M? Well, what does that mean, M? What is the measure of angle BXC? Go over to the picture, BXC Hmm. If angle BXA is 48, and together they have to be 90, well, what's 90 minus 48? That answer is 42. So the measure of angle BXC is 42 degrees. Question number six, what is the measure of DXC? Okay. Well, back to our diagram here. If we know CXA is 90 degrees, and we know that DXA is 180, 180 minus 90 has got to be 90. So we have two right angles right next to each other. So the measure of DXC is 90 degrees. What is the measure of BXD? Hmm, BXD. BXD is made up of two angles. It's made up of a 42 degree angle and a 90 degree, degree angle. 42 plus 90 will give us 132. So the measure of BXD is 132. Question number eight. Which angle forms a supplementary angle with angle DXB? Okay, what does supplementary mean again? It means two angles whose sum are 180. So let's look at DXB. Well, isn't that the one we just looked at, which was 132 degrees? And if I know I have two angles that have to equal 180, and I subtract 132 uh, from 180, I am left with 48 degrees, which is angle BXA. BXA and DXB 
are supplementary because together they equal 180 degrees. Questions 9 through 12 refer to the following figure. Angle ZXY and angle YXQ are complementary. What does complementary mean again? Two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Before we answer any questions about this figure, let's take a look and see what we have here. I see a right angle. They told us that we had complementary angles. So angle ZXQ is a right angle. And I see that part of the angle is 55 degrees. So if I start with 90 and I subtract 55, well, that leaves me with 35. So ZXY is 35 degrees. All right. What is the measure of ZXR? Hmm, ZXR, this angle right here. Well, ZXR and ZXY are supplementary. Together, they equal 180 degrees. 180 minus 35 is 145. So the measure of ZXR is 145 degrees. What is the measure of QXR? QXR. Well, QXR and YXQ are supplementary. YXQ is 55. 180 minus 55 is 125. So the measure of QXR is 125 degrees. Number 12, what is the measure of the reflex arrow um, excuse me, what is the measure of the reflex angle marked by the curved arrow? The reflex angle, if you recall, is more than 180 but less than 360. So if we look at our curved arrow, that includes 125 degrees plus 145 degrees. Give us the reflex angle, which is equal to 270 degrees. Question 13, a multiple choice question. The measure of A is 28 degrees. The measure of V is 62 degrees, which of the following is true? Okay, first thing I would do is I would add 28 and 62, and I see that that equals 90 degrees. If I have two angles whose measure is 90 degrees, what kind of angles are those? They are complementary angles. So, starting with my answer choice is 1, A is complementary to B, yes, that would be true. But I will go ahead and read through the rest of the questions just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Question two, or answer two, A and B are supplementary. Supplementary means 180 degrees, so that can't be true. A and B are obtuse angles. Well, no, they're both acute. 28 and 62 are both acute, so that's not true. A and B are reflex angles. No, we just said they were acute, so that can't be true. Number five, A is an acute angle. Okay, that's true. B is an obtuse angle. Nope, B is an acute angle as well. So the correct answer is number one, process of elimination. 14, angle M and angle R are supplementary. Again, what does supplementary mean? The sum of two angles is 180 degrees. The measure of M is 40. What is the measure of R? Well, if M is 40, together they have to be 180. 180 minus 40 is 140. So the answer for 14 is 140, number four. So you see, um, we went through and we answered several questions about lines and angles. We didn't use a protractor, but we based our answers on our knowledge of angle relationships.